welcomed into this space by my friends at the City Seek Network, one of the lead partners of the British Seek Report Project. My interaction with Param, Jasvia and others initially came from our engagement with youth interfaith programs and has grown into developing projects together and more importantly into friendship. So if you imagine these youth interfaith gatherings and to have been a representation of British life, well then the contribution from our Sikh friends at these gatherings have illustrated the opening words of this report from David Cameron and Ed Miliband, who all stress the contribution of the Sikh community and, and what they bring to Britain. So through my friendship with Param and others, I have been impacted by the Sikh commi commitment to the egalitarian teaching um, of Guru Garand Sahib, I hope I'm saying that right, um, and the importance of interfaith sharing and stress in the teaching of Guru Nanak. I was proud to be able to share a verse about women in my faith at an event at St. Paul's Cathedral organised by the League Partners of the City Seeks Network regarding women in faith. This event featured a rich discussion by female representations of a range of faiths, exploring the female attributes of God, and also exploring powerful and inspiring, inspiring stories um, from particularly young Sikh women um, who were raising their voice and fighting for their representation within and outside of the, their community. So our interfaith programs have also received training in, in entrepreneurial business skills, meditation, mindfulness, and a Gujarati stick dance performed um, of Garba that rivals any twerking that I've ever seen in my club. <laughs> so I'm thankful to the Sikh community in Britain. Um, I empathise with their concerns um, to the capacity I feel I'm able to, um, and that grows the more that I um, engage with my friends. And many of their concerns are also wrapped up in, in mine, um, being a woman, being a member of a faith group, um, and also being an activist against sex trafficking and in particular grooming of vulnerable young girls in the UK. Um, I also appreciate the opportunity to read the report um, and that highlights concerns that I might not otherwise be aware of. Um, nuances that I wouldn't understand, such as statistics that show that respondents of this report um, are not particularly comfortable with the label British Asian, Asian despite it being a popular term used by the media. I'm guilty of focusing on my own interests when reading this report. I must admit that I skimmed over the statistics revealing that 50% of the Sikh community make their daily commute by car or van. Um, I didn't particularly study into that. Um, but my attention was more drawn to the parts of the report um, that told the stories of the search for identity within young um, British Sikhs across fluid and traditional platforms. Um, it drew my attention to young British female Sikhs experiencing and challenging patriarchy in their community and the general feeling of mistreat, mistrust towards the police. So I would like to thank um, the British Sikh Report team uh, for this report, for helping me to deepen my faith, to gain wisdom from a wider range of sources, and for my understanding of a range of communities.